Sorry guys, my mic was not working. I just killed that demon as you can see. I, I hope I haven't been told. I've, yeah, I'm sorry about the muted sequences. I don't know what happened. Somehow it got muted. Like on, on the OBS thing. I, just weird. It's incredible. The tree health seems improving already. I don't know what to say. We owe you so much. To think that I would be fooled all along. All that matters now that humans and gnomes can live in, together in peace. I'll drink to that. From now on, I'll bow to make the strong all a welcome and place for all. I grant you access to all of our facilities. Thanks. I think I should make your stay. It should make your stay here easier. You can use the spirit tree to count for yourself as well as the gnome glide. I also give you access to our mine. Mine. Very few of you there's no secret mine in the Grand Tree. If you push on the roots just to the north, they will be separate and let you pass. Strange. The magic tree is for you. All the best traveling. Thanks again. You too, your highness. Oh my word, five quest points. That's pretty good. 18,400 combat SP, 7,900 agility, 2,150 magic. A very good XP quest. So we're getting it in lamp form, so do the magic first, 54 magic, Paddle where we towel Oh, 1,500 total guys, amazing, very sick, and we got 7,900 agility, which is also a level, one of the requirements for Grim Tales, Alvin Owen Pass, Easy Cliffside Shortcut, Combat Lamp, throw that into magic as well, why not, and another magic level, 55, and 69 combat. High level alchemy, that is what I wanted. Gravite staff requires 45 dungeoneering, teacher 1, combat ability, wild magic, gravite 1, 45 dungeoneering, gravite all, 45 dungeoneering. Absolutely amazing. So we're instantly carrying on with this to monkey madness, it's like instant. Talk to King, um, we're, at, we're just carrying straight on. Okay, I'll do it. Nano Andrew, copy the royal seal. Thank you very much. You may need this royal seal to identify you as my envoy. Please report to me as soon as you have any information. Okay. Monkey Madness Chapter 1, in which our hero finds himself drawn back into Glau's web of deception and deceit. And there it is. 70 Slayer. You now have all the levels you need for Desert Slayer. Dungeon Mini Quest, Grass, Battle Camp, Slayer Lodge 2, and Big Game Hunter, Crockett. But you were Rex with 90 Hunter. Absolutely amazing. Very happy. Monkey Madness Chapter 2, in which our hero finds himself engaged in severe quantities of monkey bit snakes. So I had to solve a puzzle and I've arrived on the island known as Apatol. Looks interesting. I had to run through this large cave filled with monkeys and traps. Awesome. Just what I wanted. Meanwhile, some, meanwhile, somewhere else. This is while I'm in the cave again. I had to go back. It's good for you to meet me, Wader. It's good to see you again, Karen. It's a strange island, it's monkeys. I'll observe. Have you been keeping yourself occupied? I'm now a flight commander. My duty is simply testing Glaive's prototype military glider. My my, everything's changed so much since Glaive's time. Now, what of the human? The human, just somebody Nano appears to have taken a fancy to. It's hard to tell why I suspect the human was involved with Glaive's fall from grace. You may be right, never mind the great amounts of what with Glaive can't impose to us to continue with his plans. Oh, chapter 3, in which I will find himself contending with life as a monkey. I'm now officially a monkey. I've got the Greek re amulet and I can now blend into the monkey people. We are now really turning into a patrol as a monkey for the next this section of the quest there is the bamboo gate uh, open the gate the monkey wishes to pass you bet I'm a monkey dude look at me go I was speaking to the monkey leader of this like place greetings sister what brings you to my island I'm an envoy from the monkey scramjer we wish to propose an alliance I see I was so strong and mighty then is your monkey visitor. We clearly do not need an offer of your alliance. I woke up. Please consider my offer carefully. We offer strength in numbers and our alliance will serve as a northern platform for defence. All we ask is that for in return is peace. I don't believe him, Mawaka. I never trust a northern monkey. What's your opinion, Maria? Well, he's, I think he's trustworthy, sir. I must admit, I've always regarded your kind as our inferior cousin, sister. However, I'm well aware that you may have a few things to offer. Don't listen to him, Mawaka. Be silent, Mawaka. I've heard you kind of exception yourself, I wish to put this reputation to the test. You must be well aware of 
your kind are entered and trapped almost everywhere. Somewhere far below the ape at all. Good evening, I won't gay. It's always dark here, you know, and why have you asked to see me in private? Cannock and I have a suggestion to make. Then be quick about it. The foot soldiers of the Royal Guard in your jail. Would it not be easier if they were somehow just to die? Why would I want to do that? Your king would declare war on my island. I can show you that you will not. We will lay the blame at the human's feet. Now I know we will indeed declare war, not against you, but against humankind. You are, of course, welcome to your share of the profits. Intriguing. I have recently secured an alliance with the northern monkeys, which may prove useful. What would you have me do? Kill the foot soldiers and the rest of the time squad. My superior sent you a few tricks which may prove useful, such as... High magic, the ability to summon the entire time squad to a single location, and even those who escaped, and yeah. Of course, you will also receive one of, those of his pets. You must be careful with these, as you only have one. They mean you only have one use, and sure you set your trap well, none must survive, lest they spread the truth. What of my human? What human? Ignore him, my colleague's official mission was to look after human in the air. But don't worry, it's probably dead already. I just hope so, for both of your sakes. Very well, I shall let you know when you, I've dealt with the Royal Guard. No, I'm not dead yet. Chapter 4, The Final Battle. Yes, man. Uh oh, we're being teleported to the final battle arena. This is really awkward. He's, I've had loads of my food. He's supposed... There's supposed to be a way you can get him to eat, like... Gnomes to weaken him, but he's just focusing on me. So I'm kind of confused. I mean, at this point, I think I'm better off just fighting. I mean, this is a waste of time running in circles. Like, it's not even that difficult. Why was I. I don't know why I was doing that. He's just a stupid guy, you know. He hits that, but not when you've got the pet from magic on. No service is what you have done for me because I'm rewarded in my kingdom. I personally make a visit to the royal treasury. King Nago gives you a huge stack of gold and several diamonds. Three quest points, access to 110,000. Strength and constitution, attack and defense. 10,000 coins, free cut diamonds, access to eight at all. And the agility cost ability to world monk, dragon scimitar and monkey grigories. Monkey in your backpack. Apps, that is so much, 110,000. So you're officially part of the town squad, I suppose so. Well then, you better sign up for training. Training? Yes, all members of the Royal Guard must be a managed training program. Where do I sign up for this? The High Tree Guardian Dero is in charge of the training program. You should know where to find him by now. Oh, so I speak to Dero. And I just finished the training. Oh my word. Four attack levels, two strength levels, three constitution levels. That is absolutely ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous, guys. 46 hit points, we've gained 2 combat levels, 52 attack, room weaponry, secret scimitar, leaf block, bladed equipment, caris, Severian weapon, dame line, brawler's hook, necklace, requires 50 dungeoneering, 50 attack, one of the requirements for legend quest, barbarian catch the selfie, Severian maul and daemonheim, 50 defense, rune armor, mystic armor, skeletal armor requires from it, sacred clay armor, battle armor, chaos armor requires elemental workshop for, blue dragonite armor, spine armor requires from it, trials, rock shell armor requires from it, trials, spirit crate requires finna, 50 dungeon and 50 summoning, zephyrian armor and diamond hind, duskweed armor and diamond hind requires 50 magic, spinal level armor and diamond hind requires 50 range mats, reboot and diamond hind combat ability, resonance, dragonstone armor, 4 Priest of Armadol tier 2, 4 Priest of Armadol armor tier 2, 
or Priest of Samrock armor tier 2, or Priest of Sardonium armor tier 2. Strong Cyan armor requires smoking kills. Ghost Hunter armor tier 2, Whale Priest of Tuscan armor tier 2, Magic Shield Bow requires 50 rain. Overstring Strangler Longbow and Demon High requires 50 rain. Wow, guys, what a quest. Absolutely crazy rewards. Absolutely insane. Very, very must do quest. For sure. Look at this. I've, my melee's all past 50 because of this now, so I'm going to have to go make some rune armor now. <laughs> yep, Shogun, that's definitely what I'm going to have to do. Guys, I'm finally able to get my legs upgraded because they fixed the bug with the task I couldn't complete. Which I'm glad they did. That they didn't leave it too long. That that's pretty decent. You know, they was only you know they have fixed it, so we can. Oh, nice. Now we have the version two of the legs and another lamp. Let's get some magic. I'm trying to push my magic a bit right now. There's some like requirements around towards 50, 60 magic that I need to work towards now. Oh, 65 construction. We're building like a piece of furniture. <laughs> Arbalet room, opulent rug, large landscape, gazebo, oak cage. Um, will be at spikes, mahogany and suspend, it's great telephone focus. Mahogany portal frame, mighty selfish and guard house tier two. I was just trying to do my daily challenge and build in a few things here and there. Yeah. Okay, let's hand in these challenges. Oh, I got... What the hell? 39 challenges? How many levels did I get in that? Hmm. It didn't say. I think just one. Yeah. Uh, Mithril Matter can not. Very nice. Okay. Doing a little bit of mining. And there it is, guys. 80 mining. Absolutely incredible. One of the requirements for birth right of the dwarfs. Larger rock for on a bowl, bayonet, or concentrate gold deposit. Solid lava geyser requires birth right of the dwarfs. Bing pickaxe and candle pickaxe. Haggis core armor can create gems and fragments. Egg fit pieces requires finding invention, jam finding scrimshaw, gorgonite or in dame lime and gorgonite pickaxe in dame lime. Absolutely immense. Mine enjoins the 80 plus club with divination. Very, very huge. One more level and I can might get do that mining daily thing. Would be incredible. Um we mine sandstone or something. That would be nice to start doing. Okay, we're back to doing some more of the Recipe of Disaster subquests. It's time to revisit this at this point. I'm not familiar with the fine details, you'll have to go speak with Trailborn in the Wizard Tower. You'll know what you need. Okay, thanks, I'll get right on it. So I'm trying to rescue the Lumbridge Sage this time. I'm naming these characters to me for my quiz for this. What's this guy? It's like an L? Is Lewin, isn't it? Correct, another final character, okay. The third and final egg. Oh, it's, uh, what you call her? Gertrude. That's 100% Gertrude. Yeah. No, wait, no, it's not. Wait. No, it is, yeah. I, I was, I was kind of worried. I was worried it was Valerine, the other person from the shop, you know, the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's good. Yeah, okay, that's fine, you know. That wasn't so bad, now what? And I've baked a cake of guidance for the Lambridge say. I answered the quiz, I got a bunch of enchanted cre ingredients, and I made the cake, so let's use it on the Lambridge say. Quest complete, 2500 cooking, 2500 magic, increased access to the color neuromancer's chest, and of course the quest point. Good work adventurer, I've teleported them away to safety, you only have 4 council members. Oh wait, 56 magic, you now have all the levels you need for the legends quest, nice! Blood rush and charge water orb unlocked. 
Scratch, you'd be unfrozen in a jiffy if he had some jubbly. And once again, but in English this time, sorry, Scratch being ogre likes jumpies and a real delicacy is jubbly jumbly bird. Do you think you could get some? Yes, I'm sure I can get some jubbly jumpy. That's the spirit. Okay then, what's involved? How do I get this jubbly jumpy? Ah well, that's where it breaks down a bit, you see. The only thing alive which might be to help you get the jubbly jumpy. It's the most confusing beast of Galanola's ever known. The situation is lost, I'm afraid, and I understand totally if you decide not to help Scratch. You had a commotion at a sea. Oh, some ogres have come across on the boat. We just cooked a jubbly, uh, chumpy bird. Hey, we could smell the chumpy from ages back. It smells delish. That says you can have a lift back with us if you want. Okay, we set our balloon trap thing. We need to get a jubbly bird. And here it is. Wow. We got him. What the hell is huge? Huge jubbly. Where did he go? Oh, him. Okay, so we have a lovely cooked jubbly now. Just don't eat it by accident. That would be a disaster. There we go. One quest point, 1500 cooking, 1500 woodcutting, 1500 range, 1500 crafting. Ability to travel by boat between Karamja, Felder Pills, ability to turn chubby birds, increase access to the Kalanoro Mantis Quest. Very nice, guys. Good work, adventure. I've teleported them away to safety. You now have only three council members left to protect. And a ranged level 42. Void equipment, Karamja crosses south of the volcano, and Void Night Mace. So now we're going to save Evil Day. My cat just turned into a hell cat from catching these rats. I gotta catch them to make the special spice. But he's now a wily hell cat. He was a wily cat before. So that's kind of crazy. Okay, so I figured out the stew. I've made the right combination. He tasted it. Let's just try not to eat it. Use it on Steve. I just saved you from a buffet worse than death. Hey, that's a pretty evil stew, yes. Now it's very important that you remember what the stew tastes like. Why? Because it just is, okay. Quest complete 7,000 cooking, ability to make spicy stew, ability to catch hell right in the to get a hell cat, ability to add coloured spices to a stew by catching hell rats, increase access to the cardinal mantis crack yeah. Good work adventure, teleport them way to safety. You now have only two council members left to protect. That is crazy. This guy requires a ton of quests, and this guy requires high cooking, so we're going to have to stop again there, but we've made another huge, like, progress in this quest line. Excellent. Okay, it's time for Evil Dave's Big, Evil Dave's big Day Out, which is, look at these rewards, they are absolutely ridiculous, I mean, why wouldn't I do this quest, right guy? This is absolute, and it's just like a pretty simple quest, I believe. Good, I'm glad you really wanted to help me make my will re reality. Shall we get on with it then? Yes, I don't have long before my mum will be after me about the chores. I don't want to get grounded again. Chores? You don't want to... No, you're better off not knowing, believe me. It must be a grand life being an adventure, never having to do chores. I don't know, some of these quests feel like... What was that? Nothing. What is this we're doing? Oh, that's right. Dave Andrew, an untidy looking book. The Tome of Unspeakable Evil vill Villitude. Within its incantation, you must speak during the ritual. But where should you misspeak a, but a single syllable? The consequences could be catastrophic indeed. Uh oh. I'm swapping souls with Evil Dave, it appears. Now I'm going to be Evil Dave. Do I get feeling slightly groggy, not quite remembering what took place? Oh, my head. I must have passed out. Where did Dave go? Oh well, I still am awake. I better check what I'm check I'm doing. Looking good. I knew that we did that evil thing in the evil place. You don't need to check everything every time you say evil. What do you want? Well, I'm not received any replies for the letters. I've been sent into Samurai. but seeing as I'm a world guardian now, yeah, this is some evil Dave screwing around with my body. Oh no, I got triple grounded for running off doing the floor dishes, veggies, bed now. But it's spotless, just get it done so I gotta redo my chores again. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 launch me, do it. Here we go. So I'm trying to sneak my hell rats into the desert because Shanti doesn't like it. I can't believe that actually worked. So I've just snuck my first hell rat into the desert. It appears we have some uninvited guests among us. So 
I don't know. I can't let you go any further. Who is this fool, Lord Buggerton? How do you know about the ambush, said I, McGull? I found out about this, I don't know. I w it was nefarious and scheming and everything in between. They pulls the people of Yeah. Your time has come, Sardom. You are my cabot and I am the deadfall trap. And Samrock is the hunter who will clear the trap and make you into the gloves of Sardom. The sense of doom you are feeling is my evil trap snapping shut. Carlos, you, but Chris and Fed. Sven from Percy Jackson. Was something meant to happen? Sorry, the smell is a little smudged. Who is this fool? I know you, Lord Bulkington. This isn't you. I will capture you and I will bring you to Samarok. Okay, my guy's going nuts in front of Samarok. It's crazy. Oh, wow. Sarah Doman and Samarok are fighting. Sending the dudes. You wouldn't want to be one of these dudes. Shoot. I've had enough of this nonsense, Davey. No, no, get out of the way. We're trying to swap myself back to my normal guy. Quick, let's swap our body spot back on mummies. Uh oh. So she's going to be mixed into the equation there, probably. Oh, shoot. Oh, and there it is, guys. Oh my gosh. Fifth, two quest points 50,000 magic, 20,000 herbal, 20,000 agility, 20,000 cooking. Uh, yeah, 25 agility. Did I say ability to catch all rats with your bare hands in the evil days? Babes and eating spicy chew now is a bad chance of giving you positive stat boost. Will always boost the stat by plus two when a positive boost is given. Ability to chip teleport tablets to alternate teleport destinations. This is sick. Let's do the magic. Two magic levels, 50,000. Oh my word, you now have all the levels you need for glorious memories. Watchtower teleport, best requirement. Watchtower ice rush diamond tip. Adam and crossbow bolt and level four in Chan. Incredible. Two and we got sound free combat. That is just let's do the herb blow. Oh no level up there, but it's already pretty high, that's fine. Agility not quite, but that gets me really close. And cooking twenty thousand. And we get a cooking level for of course. They use Raspite, Snipper and Edcap, Potato and Dame Knight. Absolute sick, guys. Okay, guys. We have a ridiculous 1,509 tiles. And we're going to venture out, finally. We're going to head to Karend, is what I've decided to do. So, yeah, this is going to be very expensive. You know what? It is surprising how quick I could get through these tiles. You know, I just thought, I'm just thinking now. Like, yeah, I got 1,500. We're not being like super conservative because that's just unfun and not part of what Tile Man is all about. That's why we got all the bonuses and stuff because we don't, you know, and we're gonna, you know, we're not making like the most super efficient routes every single time and. All that kind of jam. I hate it when it does that. You jump across and you shouldn't have been able to. The tile man doesn't register it. It's... So is this where we get to Karend? Who are you? Can you take me there, please? Okay. Now Karend is a big place. It can be quite intimidating. If you need any help, just let me know. Okay, goodbye. Right, what do I do first? This is crazy, all these tiles, we've already used like 60, but that's fine. No, we used probably nearly 100, didn't we? We had one, yeah, I don't know. If you look at this map, I, I can actually do the quest, um, X Max a spot, I just thought, and hopefully without not too many tiles. It's a prerequisite quest for stuff on Karen, really, so I definitely really should do it, and I'm gonna... Apparently it seems to revolve around a lot of the areas I've been, so hopefully I can do it with very minimal tile use, so let's see how it goes. So as you can see, it starts in here, so we're gonna have to use some tiles to get into this building. We finally get to see after the clue enter. Um, whatever dude, um, we finally, he doesn't move so we're gonna definitely have to use this spot. I mean I'm on a bit of a treasure and back in Karenda I came across a scroll, I'll be able to lead into something of great value. Alas, I've been a bit of a blocker, the scrolls led me here but I don't really know the next area, I'm not sure what to do next. 
Can I help? Maybe you can. You probably know this area better than I do. You might be able to work at the scroll. I'll be able to reward you if you help. Stand. Yes. Sounds good. What should I do? Take the scroll. It should lead you to the treasure I see. Once you find it, meet me at the ship. It's dropped at the northwest, north and most pier in Port's room. Okay, awesome. Anything else I should know? You'll probably want a spade. I find they're pretty much always needed when it comes to hunting treasure. Check the general store if you don't have one. Okay, this looks like the spot we dig, so let's move on to it. Oh, okay, that's fine. We dig up a treasure scroll. Okay. We had to go around anyway, that's what I'm saying. Ah, right, where do we go now? We need to go to kitchen, right. Oh, only gonna need two tiles for this, guys, that's crazy. This is definitely a, a great quest to do because it involves, seems to involve all areas that I've already unlocked. Okay. And the next one is around Draenor still, which is also, you know, it's a heavily unlocked again. So. Okay, so this spot's a little more awkward. As you can see, we're gonna, it's gonna have a tile cost for sure. At least a 20 to 30, maybe more. But on the plus side, it is area that's going to be useful, and if, you know we're, we're going to need to use this path at some point. I'm sure of it, especially to get to the agility course and stuff. When I when I get ten agility, somehow that is. So it's not. You dig up the treasure trove. Uh, dig the pig pen just west of where Martin the gardener is. Wow, that looks like we got like most of that as well. That's good. Excellent, I'll take it off your hands now. You give the ancient casket. Brilliant, this is just what I was looking for. Thank you so much. No problems. What is this treasure anyway? Oh, nothing important, just something that might be of use to me back in Great Karand, if you say so. Anyway, as promised, a reward for you. One quest point, an antique lamp, 200 coins, a big beginner clue scroll. Quest complete. The first one in a long time on OR. Whoa. Like, what is this lamp? Okay, I checked the um, scroll and it's just like a flat 300 XP, which is great. I can put it into something like agility, that means. Like, I could get a skill scout started. And I go straight to four agility, guys. That is incredible. Very pleased with that. Flat agility bonus. So nice. After the quest, the the next quest would involve running all over Karand, and I don't want to do that. I've decided to instead come to here, um, what's known as Land's End, which takes me kind of into the Asidious area. And I'm hoping to gain some rep and do some stuff here. It's the plan, I think. Um, I'm gonna need to. I want to unlock this bank, so I decided to unlock this flax spot, which might be useful. Hey, well, if I can find somewhere to spin it, right, guys, I can get started on crafting. That is an excellent. Wait, no, I've already got some crafting, but I can really get going on crafting. I mean, what am I on a big start on crafting, guys? I'm cracking up. I'm already 18 crafting. Picking a load of flax, so I don't know whether I'll use it right now. And I making bowstrings isn't going to be a huge thing for me because in the future I can get a lot of bowstrings. But it would be nice to make like a thousand or so just to keep me going for now. You know what I'm saying? Until I can start getting them from Temple Track or something. We'll see. We're just going to do this for a little while, and then we're going to go more into Karend and try and unlock some areas and stuff. Okay, as you can see, I've picked a staggering 520 well for flax, which uh, there's nowhere to use it right now. There's a place in Lumbridge, though, which I might use, depending on problems. And I also picked 36 red breeze because there was a spawn of them nearby, too, in the same play. So, yeah, I'm going to venture a bit more into Karen now, though. So, as you can see, we're, we're really spending right now. We're trying to get to the woodcutting guild. We can get. We need to get uh, Asidious Reputation up though. Um, we're really spending the tiles, but we need to unlock the route to the woodcutting guild for sure. Wait, which is the right way in? Hmm. Yeah, I'm confused. 
is, but okay. This is some serious, serious tile usage right now, though. Like we're really burning those that for that thousand surplus. Probably in like inefficient. We won't be able to go in, I don't think, though. But we can unlock the route to the gate, though. Yeah, we need favor. We already have the like wood cutting level, but we don't have the favor. Okay. So we're unlocking like some obsidious activities. We, we, we're working. Basically, we want to work towards the. So we're gonna need to unlock these like areas to like gain wrapping. So okay. So we got all that unlocked. We're gonna need to unlock these like. That's fine, we need this is gonna be like a general area we travel a lot between. But this is really this is really taking out these tiles guys, wow. Like am I even allowed to mine this right now? Let's just un I know this seems like a lot, but let's unlock this. We need like the roots anyway. I'm gonna just see if I can mine this yet. That's crazy that we can't wait, why did I end up skipping this route here? Yeah, I don't know. Can we even use this yet? Do we need a spade? Oh. I mean, was it possible? Mm. We're deep into Obsidious now, and I found the. And, and this is where the first like easy activity is so you can the first like early activity you can do here which is slough pulling um, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna so this is gonna require quite a few tiles just to do it but it's definitely gonna be worth it I, I could probably just use the one plow though right I don't need to unlock you need a hammer oh dear okay problems there's a hammer in that ruins, but it's kind of a waste of tiles when I better off unlocking the bank anyway. After an insane amount of tiles later, we've arrived at the bank. Wow, this is crazy. We've used like a, like 700 tiles. <laughs> it's just insane. But at least we can get around Karen some, like... Obsidious part of Grand, somewhat, I guess. This is a cake stall. Now, I really want to do this. I don't care. I really want to unlock the cake stall. Because, like, it'd be, it'd just be great to un steal stuff. The only trouble is these dogs. I think they're pretty... But, yeah. Finally, some, like, way to get cakes. I haven't had any cakes yet. And this will be good for my... The only trouble is these dogs are going to aggro. It's like the, the dogs can be a problem here. Once they come near me, they're going to like attack. And they're like 40 something. Hmm. I mean, I'm not going to die. i got 25 hit points. I mean, I'd be like... I'd have to be the slowest reactor in the world to actually die. And not run away from them in time. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to go back to the cranes, but I'm just going to do a quick bit of steel in a minute. Because why not? I mean, look at all these lovely cakes, right, guys, that I'm absorbing. We're stealing away here nicely. And for 29 thieving. It's fine. nice to finally get my thieving going again. Remember those early days when we're stealing from the farmers and all that crap? And now we're, up, we're finally onto something that's actually more, much more serious and gives us an actual decent tangible reward now on our thieving so yeah it's very nice to be doing these kegs oh no that dog i'm gonna pee him off oh there it is 30 thieving absolutely incredible look at this guy just dropping all his stuff on the floor and there's me banking all my cakes and stuff this guy's just dropping all his strawberries fruit there's definitely a lot of good stuff to steal there i'd love to steal from there too at some point 
But right now I think I just really want to focus on these cakes and stuff right now. Because I need the cakes, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I want a cat, it's not fair. I need to do Gertrude's cat. But I need to get to... No, I'm at far up, but... It's actually something that could be doable. So, you know, saying that... I have got quite a lot of Varric and lot, even towards that sawmill, which is where you've got to go for the quest, and I, I actually unlocked a load of, remember to do that bit of construction quest, so I should definitely look into doing Gertrude's quest or some uh, cat soon at some point, like the sooner the better you get something like that done, you can grow up the cat, you know it's important to start it going. And there it is guys, 31 Thieve, and you can now enter the second room of the Jazz, jazz Vault of Tombs and Sofanum. Excellent guys, a great, a great return to Thieve and I'm having here for stealing these kegs. And we're still going. 32 Thieve, you can now pickpocket from rogues. Amazing guys, absolutely amazing. Okay guys, welcome to my score recap for episode 44 of my ad cat Iron Man joint playthrough with OSB and Tile. Anyway, XP, RS are changed to 752,586, up from 10,650,684 to 11,403,217. Uh, amazing. OS are changed of only 5,951, I'm sorry. Up from 1,900,333 to 1,906,200. And this is because of a huge amount of tile unlocking and planning and exploring. Like, I didn't, you know, it was like that kind of adventure, even though I spent quite a bit of time on that. The XP is just didn't really come good though. Um, total change is 758,537, up from 12,551,017. To a staggering 13,309,554. Levels RS are changed to 26 from 1,498 to 1,524. But OS did make a nice 7 levels from 555 to 562. Uh, total change of 33 from 2,053 to 2,086. Um, quest points RS a change of 13 from 236 to 249 OS a change of 1 from 6 to 7 finally making a little change thanks to that quest I did and a total change of 14 from 242 to 256 combat RS a change of 4 from 69 to 73 OS, OS still be in 29 total change of 4 from 98 to 102 uh, levels highest still be in divination on RS at 83 but mining making a, a miraculous catch up at 80. I don't think it will pass divination though, but you never know. The lowest still be an arc at just a 30. But it's crazy that my lowest skill is now 30. That's pretty insane. If we look at OS, the highest skill. Now is woodcutting by far. It used to be smithing for so long, but thanks to the forestry and the fun I've been having doing that forestry stuff with people, you know, woodcutting is now the lead at 70, but smithing's still respectable, 67. And the lowest skills being farming, agility, runecrafting, ranged, and herblore. But agility is off the mark now, thanks to a quiet standing. So, yeah, we might have an actual lowest skill if this trend keeps up at some point. 